Recently, there has been a lot of hype around ChatGPT for Blender, but it turns out that Bing AI is much more powerful. So let's do some examples and then compare it to ChatGPT. And I made sure to get the paid version of ChatGPT as well to do a proper comparison between Bing AI and ChatGPT 4 as well as ChatGPT 3.5. And the code we got from telling Bing AI to create a pyramid works very well. As you can see, we can customize the pyramid. Next, we can copy and paste the same command that we used in Bing AI into ChatGPT. So let's go into ChatGPT and let's start off with 3.5, which is the previous version of ChatGPT, which is available for free. And then we can copy the code into Blender. So I'm going to go to text and new, and then paste it in, delete the previous pyramid. And as you can see, it doesn't look good at all. So it was not able to create a pyramid successfully. So let's see how it does in ChatGPT4. We copy and paste the same command. And then let's copy the code into Blender once again. Delete the previous code. And then run it. And as you can see, it was not able to create a pyramid either. So uh, being AI takes the win in this first example. And now we can try to create a heart. And then paste the code into Blender, run the script. As you can see, it's able to create a very nice heart. And then you can, of course, play around with the individual objects and uh, get some interesting results. Now, let's try this in uh, ChatGPT. So we can start off with 3.5 once again, which is free version. Let's copy the code and then paste it into Blender. And once again, you can see that ChatGPT struggles to understand the commands and uh, writes very bad code at least compared to uh, being AI. Okay, and then we can do the same test for uh, GPT-4. Neither being AI or ChatGPT is this fast, this is just editing, and I do the voiceover later. Okay, and when we run this script in Blender, you can see that ChatGPT once again failed the objective. And Bing AI once again clearly takes the win, which is interesting considering that it is free compared to uh, ChatGPT4, which you have to pay for. So let's do an even more advanced example where you add a button to the panel, which adds the cubes in the shape of a heart. We can start off with Bing. Copy the code into Blender. Let's run it. And then I'm going to press N, and as you can see, it works perfectly. And then let's try it out in ChatGPT. I'm not even going to bother using ChatGPT 3, and we can just go straight to ChatGPT 4. So let's see if uh, ChatGPT 4 is able to do it. Let's copy the code, go back into Blender, Paste it in. As you can see, we created a new add-on, but the heart does not look very good. 